Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome in for the first time. This is Karen Lavender Clothesline and this morning we are heading over to the new Goodwill. They have opened and I am very excited. This is a Goodwill that I've been talking about and it is quite close to my house. This is going to be an easy run to get to. I'm going to say almost every day, every other day, I'm going to be in this store. Okay, hit that like and subscribe button. Let's go to the Goodwill in Elizabethtown, Pennsylvania. All right, it looks like they have saved a parking spot for me. Front row, just kidding. <laughs> They're not open yet. And you can see inventory on the racks. So exciting. How lame is this that I am super excited for a new Goodwill. All right, they open at nine o'clock, so I will be first in line. First one in the door. I think I'm gonna head right to Hard Goods and see how that is. Store is nice and clean. I'm gonna call this a medium to large store where Shillington would be considered extra large. Academics, okay. I said I was going to Hard Goods and I'm already peeking. Now the music is very loud. Hopefully I won't have to do a voiceover. We're gonna start and just take a peek at frames. Bag goes into the cart. Okay, this looks like toys on aisle one. I think I'm going to start with aisle two. Silver and green. Oh, a bag of bells. That is very interesting. I don't know that I want a bag of bells. I'm not sure what this frog is, too. Is that a candle holder, toothbrush holder? No idea. Oh, green glass, candy dish. This is, what is this? There's a pattern name to it. And what do they want for it? Probably looking right at the price, $2.99, green glass. That is item number one. Continuing on the green aisle, I see a print down here. Oh, this is so pretty. Wow, that's nice. I really don't want to ship glass. This reminds me of Margeline Baston, but it's not. $4.99. Hmm, do I want that? Gold frame, so it doesn't really go in my house. And I don't know that I want to ship it, but I am going to put this in the cart and give this a think about. Very pretty. All right, what else do we see? I'm not even down <laughs> the first full aisle, and I've got two things in the cart. Very good sign. And what else do we see? I have picked up these trays before. They didn't bring a lot and they don't move quickly. It's like a brass tray. I don't even think it's real brass because it has some rust on it. So I'm gonna leave that one behind. But behind it, I see this bottle. It feels modern to me. Okay, so this is Fib was $18.99 in the floral department. It is pretty, but I'm not feeling it. Okay, so I found this sitting on the shelf. Fitz and Floyd Holly Jolly Snowman Canopy Plate. I will put that in the cart and take a look at that. I will open all the boxes at once. Okay, so Christmas Isle is fairly well stocked. Coca-Cola, this is a little ornament, I take it. After skating, what do they want for it? It was originally $7.99, $1.99. Very cute. I'm going to go with that. Anything Coca-Cola is usually a safe bet. And they've got another one back here. Oh, how cute is this? $2.99. <laughs> I'm have to see why they're two different prices. But I'm going to put that in the cart too. All right, is that a third one? No, this is Lennox napkin rings. Now I don't do Lennox uh, porcelain. $9.99. We will put that back. I think Goodwill thinks that all Lennox is super valuable. Sitting on the end cap is a fun thing to play with the buttons. This is a check protection machine. Vintage. $20 they want for it. It does have its key. 
So that is very cool. But I expect that this would probably bring between 20 and 30. So I'm going to leave this one behind. So I just found this tapestry on a wood dowel or wood rod. It is a woodsy scene. What do they want for this? Four fifty. It almost looks like it should be in like a medieval castle hanging on a wall. Oh, it is marked. That's good. It looks like silk, but I don't imagine it is. Corona decor. Pheasants and songbirds. Manufacturers and porters of tapestry, art reproductions, wall decor. I don't imagine this would be a quick sale, but I'm going to put it in the cart and run a comp. I'm just browsing through the linens aisle and I found this plush or fleece, I should say, Disney throw blanket, $2.50 for Christmas. Really nice condition. That is going definitely in the cart. This is also catching my attention. I think this might be curtains. Not quite sure. I'm going to see if I can find a label on it. Very batik, um, tie-dye. They have a very poor quality feel to them though. So probably gonna leave these behind, but I still like to educate myself and see who's making them. If in fact there is a tag, I have quite a bit of staining on them. So not looking good. I will definitely leave those behind. Okay, so the store was not as stocked as I expected because they did open on Monday and there was a line at the door, I was told, and then yesterday they were hit hard. So they are restocking as quick as they can and I will be sure to be back probably tomorrow or later today. So these are the few items that I did take. I took the Disney fleece uh, buffalo plant blanket, beautiful condition, looks like it hasn't been used, and I believe it was 250 blue tag, so not on sale, but 250 is great. I did go with the green glass candy dish, because you guys love when I pick up green glass, $2.99. I'm expecting maybe $15. These are quite plentiful, but people do like this color green. This was the find of the day. This is a belt brand I haven't seen in a while, Beltology, B-E-L-T-O-L-O-G-Y. Knew these are quite expensive. This one's in great shape if used at all. I paid $5. I'm thinking probably $35 or $40 for it. Another belt. When all else fails, I go to the belt section. <laughs> Easy to ship too. $4.99. I look for a good quality leather belt in a nice, you know, a nice style and um, very good condition. I don't like to see a lot of stretching of the holes or anything like that. And I did go with the tapestry. I was on the fence about this, but um, yeah, I went with it. This brand is a good brand, 450. Now, if you find the bell poles, I think it is, it's the long tapestry. And back in the day, they were used to ring a bell for a servant, I guess. Those can bring very good money too. But I figured this one did have its twisted wood uh, dowel stick and the tapestry itself or quilt is in very nice condition. Thank God it is Friday. This has been a week, crazy, crazy week, even for my life. So on Sunday, to start the week, I wound up going into Pottery Barn and buying a long overdue needed sofa. And I bought this, uh, this is the York, and it's very big. This is a sofa that I've been wanting for a while. It is extra deep. So as you can see, this is almost like a twin bed. So I bought this knowing it might be a little bit of a challenge to get it into the living room, but I didn't realize how much of a challenge. So it was delivered on Wednesday, Wednesday, no, Tuesday, and Monday was already a blur. And then Tuesday, the delivery men came and could not fit this in the front door. So what had to happen was this front picture window, this is a stationary window, had to be taken out and the storm window, and they brought the couch in, not the moving men. The moving men just left it in my garage. But I called in the troops. Roger, my daughter Lisa, and my son Dylan lifted the couch through the opening. I'll try to insert video footage of that. So that was my Tuesday. And it was just crazy, crazy week. But we did get the couch in, very grateful. And I'm working on 
shellacking the coffee table. So if you guys remember, the coffee table was white and I didn't want a white coffee table with a white couch. So I did this in a, I'm going to call it a chalkboard black and pretty happy with that. Um, and now I'm shellacking it. So it's had its first coat of shellac to seal the paint so it doesn't, you know, get chipped or whatever. And I have to do a second coat tonight. So... So besides the reselling, the filming, the running store to store, the shipping out, yeah, it's been a week and I'm very glad it's Friday, but very happy with the living room. And I have already taken two naps on this couch. Thumbs up. It's a good couch. Let's keep going. So in the back room, I've gotten all of this listed of what needed to be listed. Now this piece here is my personal piece and I'm thinking of selling it. So I'm on the fence about that, but everything else has been cleaned and listed. These are the items I picked up yesterday at the new location Goodwill. And we'll talk about those further. Let's come back out. And this is what the office is looking like. All of this is listed. I worked on that yesterday, and this is what's going out this morning. So I'm just going to grab my phone and give you guys comps. I was going to pull uh, shipping in the basement for you guys. Yeah, I don't have time to do that because I'm back out filming today, but I'm going to turn my phone on and we're going to talk about what these items brought. Okay, so the first item going out, Euphoria Collection. I believe I paid $4.99 for this and it brought $20.50. That was on sale. This fur muff, it is genuine fur. I don't remember what the fur is, and I got $28 for that. Beautiful, super soft. And what else is next? A pair of bloomers. These are damsel in distress. People use them for co-play, uh, cosplay, I should say, and costume dress up. And what did these bring? They brought $58, and I think I paid $2.99 for those. Next up on the phone, paint by numbers. This brought $49.50. A pink Victoria's Secrets bra. It's a white lace bra. This brought $14. Um, the handbag, vintage handbag. It's got like a reptile pattern going on. $29.99. A Ralph Lauren striped polo. I've had this one for a while. $15. Uh, Chico's. This is like an open front cardigan in a um, an animal print. This brought fourteen dollars. And what else? The Nakona glove. I found this while thrifting with Roger months ago, and this sat for a while. I did send out offers on this. Fifty five dollars. An Eileen Fisher, the black tunic top. This is it here. Extra large, $39. And this beautiful Nantucket basket. It's like a little a little purse. How cute is that? This brought $82.50. So these are the sales from yesterday afternoon to this morning. And I am just about to get ready to ship these out, then get my act together and go film for a second time in the new location, Goodwill. So what happened is I went out yesterday morning after shipping out to film in the new store and I got there and the inventory was very low because the store got hit hard for the grand opening. The grand opening of the Elizabethtown Goodwill was Monday. I purposely did not go Monday because the line was wrapped around the store. There was no way I was going to be able to film, but I'm going to head back over there today and see how it is. I want to give you guys a really good review of what the store is like since the store is so close to my house and we'll probably be hitting it often. All right, so that is the craziness this morning. I'm going to get into shipping these out. This shouldn't take too long, probably about 20 minutes, and then uh, put some shoes on and get out the door. All right, hit that like and subscribe button. Let's keep going. Let's see where this video takes us. Okay, so I'm just hitting the road, going back over to Elizabethtown Goodwill. This is the Goodwill we went to yesterday, and there wasn't much on the shelves. But because this store is only a couple minutes from my house, this is an easy deal. Love this. So my shipping is shipped out. Postal carrier Bob picked it up. Thank you so much, Bob. So I only have about eight pieces of inventory left in the house 
to photograph and list, so I've got to get inventory. All right, let's skip on over to Elizabethtown Goodwill once again, and then maybe we'll head over to Route 30. I haven't been there in a few days, and we'll see what we can find. All right, hit the like and subscribe button. Let's get on the road one more time to Elizabethtown Goodwill. Okay, so I'm in this store. It's quite crowded, so I won't be able to show the aisles like I normally do, but maybe I will be able to just showcase a few items. Ceramic Frog, $6.99, which is a little bit high, but he is great. Really like him. So I'm going to put him in the cart. This is just made from a mold, and it looks to be signed. And as you can see, quite a few things in the cart, which I will go over. The records are probably not staying, but I grabbed them anyway. I did find this Beekman baby goat milk soap, adorable. Now I would have grabbed this in a heartbeat, but they have marked it $9.99, way too high. I would have gone for this no higher than $2.99. These weren't here yesterday. These are Falls Graph. It's a shame, very heavy. They look to be about $5 a piece so 5 10 15 20 25 30 dollars for the set is not bad now it could be that it's two sets so you'd have two sets of three but false graph is very heavy and not a good seller for me so i will leave those behind but if anybody needs a really nice canister set they're here okay let's take a look in the cart of what i've gotten so i did take the frog i found a lot of these dishes i have sold these before i think these are quite well worn so i'm gonna have to go through them and see what the condition is but a dollar 99 for the saucers a dollar 99 for the creamer with the under plate this is pyrex let's take a look at that i'm gonna pull that one up Okay, so a divided dish. Shame it doesn't have the cover to it, but I will comp just the bottom portion of it. Made in USA, of course. Um, this lampshade is beautiful, but I probably will put this back. It has an iridescent glaze to it, milk glass, $3. I'm kind of on the fence about this one. I haven't seen the iridescent glaze too much. Normally it is just the plain milk glass. $2.99, that's a good price. So that's a, that's a thought. And then more of the plastic dishes, definitely mid-century modern. I think these are the 60s. I'm not crazy about the colorway. They kind of look like baby colors to me, but $5 for the amount of dishes. But I will definitely open the bag and see how much wear, how much scratching there is to them. So it looks like three pink, two white, two yellow, and two blue. All right, so that is what is in the cart so far. Up. Let's move Mr. Froggy very carefully. And we have some cards. These are Disney cards. I have never seen these before. And I'm thinking they're quite common and probably not worth much. All right, let's keep going. Okay, so I brought the Boonton Ware dishes up to the register to get the tape cut so that we can take a look at the inside of what is in the stack. Now, these are a little bit scratched up top, but as you go through them, Goodwill employees have actually put the more damaged ones in the middle, so that if you do not pull off the tape, you don't know that the defective ones are in the middle. Just not a good practice, Goodwill. Like, look at this one. This yellow one was on top, and then the next one is actually burnt, and they hide it in the middle. So I'm very displeased with that. You can see the burning must have been put on a stove or something. And the more scratched ones are in the middle. Definitely won't be purchasing these. It's a shame that it's a deceptive practice. So anytime you buy something that is stacked like this in Goodwill, you really want to take a look at the middle ones. Here's a good example also. So I pull off the two blue, a yellow, and then another yellow, and it has big giant knife marks. I don't know if the camera's gonna be picking that up. Again, another one with stains and knife marks. Just horrible. All right, so this trip, definitely a bust. I think the only thing that I will get, I'm gonna put this back. The only thing I will be getting is the frog. A little bit high. I would rather have him be $4.99, but I'll take him for the seven. I don't see any chips or cracks and he's cute. I'm thinking he'll probably bring maybe $18. And the Pyrex I have not looked up yet. But this trip, definitely not worth my time and definitely 
not happy about a deceptive practice. Okay, so at the last minute, I decided to put the frog back also. So that trip was zero inventory scored. <laughs> Now in their defense, the store is new. I'm sure they're working things out. I'm sure it's a lot to handle with a lack of employees. So I'm not gonna judge um, the store totally on these first two days. I'm gonna come back after probably a week. I'm gonna give it about a week, I think, and, um, and then see how it is. I don't mind that there's not a lot of inventory because if the store is successful and a lot of people have descended on a new store, we know that story. They could be wiped out quickly. But what I'm not happy with is Goodwill when they tape over damaged items or they just put things out with the price sticker over the branding. I consider those types of things deceptive and I'm not real thrilled with that, but it is my job to make sure that the inventory I'm buying is good. So anytime something is in a bag or is taped together, I absolutely take things out of the bag, untape it, and then if they want to retape it, that's their decision. I try to put things back as best I can, but for today we scored zero and I'm not discouraged. That's all part of the game. I'm going to go on to probably Goodwill 30. I think that's where I'm going to go next. And of course, I'm taking you with me. Now, we might find good stuff and we might have just a womp womp day. That is the nature of the game when you thrift this much. All right, let's go to Lancaster 30 and see what we can find there. So this is the members only special, which just means you have to have a Goodwill card. 50% off green tag Wednesday through Monday. Today is Friday. So we're going to be looking for green tag. 50% off. Keep that in mind. I always have to come back and check the color. I always forget and say, what color was it? Green. All right, let's go up and down the aisles. I'm seeing lots of green tags, so that is a really good sign. Now, I don't know that I'm going to spend a lot of time looking at sleeveless because generally sleeveless uh, brings less money. Not always, but in other words, a green tag dress or a green tag sweater or jacket would most likely be a higher dollar ticket item. Said that wrong. Let's take a look at this, $4.99. So this would be $2.50, cute, but I don't know how much this would bring. Maybe $9.99? Lots of green tags though. So let's get to an aisle where the clothing is uh, either sweaters or long sleeve blouses. Oh, there's a cart there, oh dear. Okay, I think I saw that card. <laughs> I get distracted by every sparkly little thing. Somehow these are sleeveless again. Green. Okay, so here are t-shirts. I might take a quick gander through, I don't know where I'm getting gander lately, through t-shirts and polos and see how that works out. Of course, this is not green. Okay, green tag. Here in t-shirts, I would be looking for a single stitch, uh, higher quality. Okay. Here's a green tag here, like a vintage, one of those stretchy, what are those called, popcorn shirts? Do you guys remember those? Everybody was wearing them there for a while. Okay, I think I'm gonna get off of this aisle also, because a lot of this is just gonna be, you know, plain t-shirts and I really don't want to stock my store with that. All right, I'm really going to get to an aisle where I'm going to do some serious looking and hopefully find 50% off items. All right, let's look through blouses quick. So I'm just going to do it this way. Splendid. Splendid is a decent brand. It's not real high dollar, but let's see what they're getting for this. Hopefully $4.99. Hopefully they didn't up price. They did not. Mm, I'm going to wait on that. Should really run a comp, but I'm not going to. Splendid used to bring decent profit in some of the uh, long sleeves or dresses. Oh, this is cute. Of course, it's black tag. Who is that? Laura Scott. Good for you, Laura Scott, little ladybugs. Okay, so green tags, $4.99, motherhood maternity. I don't think I pick up any maternity, at least not on purpose. Maternity clothing has always sold very slow the few times that I have picked it up. 
Now I'm sure there are high-end brands for maternity wear, but um, I haven't found them. Okay, I'm gonna quickly go up and down the sweater aisle. Max Edition. Ooh, that's super soft. Black tag. I love to shop for sweaters on like a 90 degree day because nobody else is looking at sweaters. Shetland, pure new wall Murray's. Huh, $6.99, it feels very itchy. If a sweater is 100% wool and it seems very itchy to me, I will not pick it up most times unless it has a super high dollar amount, you know, something really spectacular because I don't like sending out sweaters that the person gets it and, you know, there's no way to tell how itchy it is. So then they receive a sweater they bought online that they couldn't try on and they're unhappy with it because it's not comfortable. So I try to keep in mind whether I would want to wear a sweater made out of something so itchy. Okay, I think that finishes this aisle. One more. Whose green tag is this? Presswick and more. Oh, I see a little bit of an embroidered sleeve. Oh, Presswick and more again. 575. What size is this? A medium. Hmm. No. Okay, I spotted this green tag crew neck sweatshirt. Beautiful jewel designs. How pretty this is. This is loft retail. So it's not the outlet store. It's small. $7.75. And unless one of these gems is missing the rhinestone, which it's so hard to tell sometimes. I have missed that quite a few times. I'm going to go ahead and take this. I think this is great for the holidays. And it seems to be in good condition, unless something is staring me right in the face and I am missing it. So that's going in the cart. Okay, so I just looked at swimwear and started talking to a friend, got totally distracted. I gotta stay focused. Now I'm in skirts. Huh, who is this? Interesting. It's like a faux suede. Yeah, it's faux suede. All right, so I'm looking for skirts, athletic. You guys know the routine. Sometimes denim skirts, not a lot. Years ago, we used to pick up the denim skirts. I'm trying to remember who the brand name was. And they were bringing like 75 to to $100. It was a whole thing. Ah, oh, it's escaping me, the name. I'll have to write it on the screen if I think about it. And um, a lot of thrift stores didn't know about it. Made a killing that way. I don't know if those skirts still sell that way. I would imagine they do. So they were long denim maxi skirts and for the life of me I can't think of the brand because I haven't found one in a while and I would go to the yard sales that the Mennonite and Amish families in our area would sell their clothing and I would pick them up for two dollars and flip them for 75 to 100 those were the days okay lots of green tags but I'm not seeing anything that's all that exciting there's like a tiger print or a what is that, zebra? Four fifty. Yeah, I don't think anybody's gonna want that. Oh, this is kind of nice. What is this? Talbot stretch, size eighteen. What do they want for it? Four ninety nine. Interesting. Let's take a look at this. Oh, is this a? For a second, I thought it was like a split skirt. Hmm. There's not a lot of stretch to this. And I feel that a woman that might be a size 18, now this is just a guess, might want a little bit more stretch, not so confining. So that is just a guess. Little black velvet, very cute. Who is this? 650 black tag, but this is interesting, lined with satin. I don't know if somebody made this. I am dying to see the tag on this. Almost seems homemade. Up, oh, up, oh, I see a shadow of a tag. Who is this? I don't even know what that says. Let me dig that out for us and see. Okay, and. Ami? Ami M. Kramer. No idea. <laughs> it was a lot of digging for a nothing. Okay, this is like a denim look. All right, zero on the skirts. As you can tell, I have hopped over to Hard Goods. This is catching my attention. Jake's Country Trading Post. Oh, I know where that is. That is down the street. 
I guess it's a pillar candle holder, but it looks to have some damage. Kind of primitive country style. Not that I would have picked that up. I would not have a Krups coffee maker in chrome with some damage. Okay, I'm spotting this little lamp. This is modern. Who's making this? Takes 100 watt. No, 100 volt, 25 watt. Has some Chinese writing on it. Hmm. $6.99. So for $7, I don't know. You might get $20 to $24 for that. And I don't think people are going to want to pay shipping. Shipping is like my main concern now because the shipping is so high. So I always try to consider the shipping for my customer. A little brass soap dish for $4.99. Okay. I have too much brass as it is, but how do I not buy this? Very cute. Okay, so I just found this on the shelf. It is Sully Massage by Daniels, and this was originally sold in pennies. Definitely looks vintage for $80. It is a cellulite massager, <laughs> and I thought, who wouldn't want that? So this is what it looks like. Now it seems to be not even used, seems vintage new. A lot of dust in the box though. I did plug the adapter into the wall socket. I'm not sure if this wall socket is working. We're gonna go ahead and turn this on, hopefully not get electrocuted and see if this works. Okay, I don't see any power light lighting up. I'm gonna try another outlet because I'm not sure this one is working. Okay, plugged into outlet number two. I think I'm doing this right and it still doesn't turn on. Huh, I don't even see a power light on this thing. I thought this would like vibrate or do something. And I'm not sure if it has to charge. I don't think so. I think an AC adapter would give it automatic power. This is how I spend my day, guys. <laughs> Plugging in cellulite massage vintage machines. All right, I guess it's a no-go. Cannot figure this out. All right, back in the box it goes. We have found a third outlet and third time is a charm. Okay, I don't know if this is gonna do anything, but I'm gonna sell this. Sully Massage by Daniels. Had to go through three electrical outlets, but this seems to be in very good shape and someone might want to try this. I'm paying $6.99. I have no idea what I'm going to charge for this, but Vitac, Vitac, Cellulite Massager. Okay, this vase is capturing my attention. Looks like vintage dirt in there. Boy, that's pretty luster wear. I love the design on this. It's like a gray and orange striped Japanese design. Oh, made in Japan. What do they want for this? $3.99. We're going to go ahead and put that in the cart. I really like that. I don't know who's making it. I have bought this before. <laughs> Truth be told, I don't know whether I still have it or if I have sold it. $4.99. It is a wire basket. I really like this. Let me just take a look at what they're charging for it. It is, oh, $4.99. Okay, I'm feeling this. This is really nice. $4.99 in the cart. Okay, I have to admit these plates are capturing my attention. Look how pretty these are. This is Avon by Lennox. I think Avon is just the pattern. I don't think it has anything to do with Avon, you know, the cosmetic company. These things are gorgeous. Oh my goodness. But I am not doing dishes anymore. Unless, there's always that unless, unless they're um, antique, like fish plates or something like that by, by Limoges. But these things are beautiful. Okay, so $2.99 each. I'd rather see them sold. One price for the whole set. Very pretty. I'm leaving them behind in case anybody wants them. Probably a mistake. But by the time, so $3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, so you're paying, you're not paying Goodwill prices anymore, but aren't those beautiful? 
Okay, so a new cart got rolled out and this store has the policy that you can look through it as long as an employee is not trying to deal with it. So I do see two coach wallets. I have a tendency not to deal with coach unless it's vintage and the leather is superior. These are so heavily faked that um, I think the majority of them are fake. Now when I do find a coach and it is branded on the zipper pull and it has the creed inside, the creed is the serial number, and when all of the hardware is marked, I have a tendency to think it's real. See how this one, the zipper tab is plain? I could be wrong. Here's another one. You know, this stuff comes out in multiples. I don't know who's giving away coach. Even the outlet coach, I think some of this would be branded. Zipper pull is very cheap. The zipper does not move smoothly. So I do leave those behind. I could be, you know, missing out on a real coach, but they're so plentiful. Here's another bag down here. This one seems to be vintage. I'm gonna take a look at the hardware. There's no creed inside of this that I'm seeing. There's a penny. So leaving all of that behind. What I did grab was this Vera Bradley duffel bag. Nice condition. Now it needs a good washing. I will soak this in the washing machine and line dry it. And where is the price on this? $4.99. I always check the bottom. Again, quite um, quite in need of a wash, but I think all of this is gonna come out. I'm gonna pre-treat it with a spot treatment, something like Shout or something like that. And um, yeah. All right, that is the next item. I also picked up this pot, and this is Made in USA Aluminum Wherever. So I'm gonna have to check on this. I don't know that it's safe to cook in aluminum, but I think people are still buying pots like this. So I'm gonna take a look at this one and run a comp. Okay, so I've run a comp on this pot. This is Wherever, two and a half quart halite, made in USA, trademarked. $1.99. Now, if this had the lid, I think a lot of times it's a copper lid or the matching lid, I would go ahead and pick this up. But without the top, I'm thinking no. I think people really want the lid, the matching lid with the pot. So I will keep my eye out for the lid until I leave. But other than that, I'm going to leave this one for somebody else. Okay, I'm going to make this the last item of the day. I found this pool ball set or billiards. $15. The box seems to be truly vintage. <laughs> and that's what I'm judging the balls on because there's no branding on this. So they are all here. Now I know the older ones could be made at Bakelite. I don't know how old these are. I don't imagine they're super old. I have seen the fancy ones where the, where the banding is like scalloped or zigzaggy. These are just conventional, but I figured for $15, I would go ahead and take a chance. If it winds up that the comps show, you know, that that's pretty much what I would get for them, I will sell them individually and hopefully for $5 a ball. So, so that is the last find of the day. A little bit of a crazy day. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Go out and get what's yours.